Welcome back. You're watching Vaina Sena on ET now, and let's start taking all of the stock-related queries. We already have a lot of them pouring in, uh, so let me just start this one. It's coming in from Sharmila, who's writing to us from Mumbai, and she has uh, some legacy shares in her portfolio. She has 50 shares of Bajaj Finance at the price of 1,080 rupees per share. Uh, 100 shares of HCL Tech at a price of 220 rupees per share, and looks like they are legacy indeed. given the fact that the uh, way how uh, the returns or the returns that she has in her portfolio right now vivek does it even make sense to book up profits right now from these legacy shares or do you think it's prudent enough to book at least partial profits no sometimes when you forget uh, about legacy shares you end up making more money that's a fact i'll uh, i'll just give you one little story i was uh, i met one uh, investor in karur in tamil nadu there's a place called uh, karur uh, he had uh, Uh, his grandpa's seven lakh Tata Motors shares in physical format, seven lakh, mind that. And uh, when I asked him why don't you demand, he said if I demand, my children might sell it off, so I'm just going to have it as physical. So that's the thing, <laughs> just hold it on. All right, um, great wealth created out there, and thank you so much for sharing that story. But moving on, the next query that I have, Kush, is coming in on KNR Constructions, where Bharadwaj is already. Uh, he wants to know that is KNR Construction a buy for the next two to three years? Well, the setup is extremely uh, encouraging, and you know we've seen a breakout also come about. So if the view is from a two to three years perspective, then yes, you know it's a good buy. Uh, even at current levels maybe a, a dip uh, closer to you know 320 uh, 310 perhaps would perhaps make it a little more uh, you know interesting because you know we've seen a lot of congestion uh, but here too it's a good starting point and on the upside you know you you could look at 475 500 kind of levels uh, to come about so on the whole the setup is nice uh, you know it's seen multiple uh, breakouts after you know a brief rounds of consolidation so that could continue for the next uh, couple of years time frame This was come from Priya. A couple of stocks that she's looking to invest in, and uh, Vivek, you can pick on the stocks that you want to choose. Uh, you want to talk on, I believe. Uh, one is Sri Ram Pistons. The other one is Precol, uh, Raghav uh, Productivity, and Avenue Supermars. She wants to invest in these counters for a period of one to three, uh, three years. Wants to know what's your take on them. Uh, this stock, Sri Ram Pistons, should be uh, uh, best bet uh, because uh, when you look at uh, Uh, valuations wise also it is looking good and the space particularly uh, uh, when you talk about uh, auto ancillary engine walls uh, which the company is into i think this space is uh, uh, good so at this market levels uh, see sometime back when i was saying space would do good, uh, good in uh, cement uh, kush said that uh, don't hurry up you please book profits as well so i agree to that so cement as a space might do well but at this valuations most of the sectors and stocks are looking Extremely overstretched, so you got to be very, very careful. But this stock uh, looks good, so Sri Ram Pistons would be a good bet. Right, moving on, the next query that I have is coming in on from V Ravi Chandran and um, Vivek. Uh, your advice on Mufti? That's one of the recently listed counters, and uh, he wants to know. Ravi Chandran wants to know that is this a, a good stock to invest in? Maybe for the next three to five years. See, it's again a single brand. Uh, I would uh, still prefer. Uh, Sometimes back, I was saying that Birla Group is quite aggressive. So when you look at uh, stocks like uh, ABFRL, uh, you find that uh, uh, they they are uh, like multi-brand uh, stores, and the way they are doing right now is extremely good. So I would always prefer the way we talk about diversification. So when you are talking about uh, garment sector as well, uh, this kind of uh, stocks do better. Single brands, I would avoid. Yeah, there is uh, news of PLIs and all this in garment sector, but I don't think this company is going to be beneficiary of it. All right, this was coming from Santosh. He's writing to us from Mangalore, and Vivek, once again, I'm coming to you because he has 250 shares of Parag Milk, which he's purchased at a price of 232 rupees per share. He's saying that the stock is coming down. He cannot understand why the stock is coming down, given the fact the stock has a good Fundamental. What's your take? Do you concur with him? The stock has good fundamentals, despite that it's coming down. Or is there something that he needs to look in deeper? See again, uh, I would uh, avoid dairy uh, related uh, companies as such. And uh, I, I have a feeling that he bought uh, Parag Milk after seeing the movement in Heritage uh, Foods after uh, uh, TDP won the uh, election in Madhra. So avoid this kind of counters because see, can they really create huge wealth? 
until and otherwise you become something like a mole, it's very, very difficult. So I would advise to come out and enter surveillance. Thanks for coming in on Parag. But with this, it's time to step into a very short break, viewers. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Buy Now, Sell Now, a show where we get you answers for all your stock-related queries and continuing the same with our experts on the show today. And Vivek, coming to you for the next query, this one is on NMDC, wherein Bharti uh, has been holding the stock for quite some time now, wherein NMDC shares, he, she has 1,000 in quantity at the price of 90 rupees. And post the, uh, she also has post uh, NMDC steel after the split. Uh, but what to do with NMDC shares at this point? She's sitting at good profits right now, but is that a hold or sell? See, if you uh, compare the stock uh, movement with other peer group uh, in the same space, NMDC has not done that great, first thing. Second thing, uh, can it be a divestment target in future, both NMDC and NMDC steel? Uh, possibly, yes, uh, that also can be a good uh, trigger. You are already sitting on profits, I think you should continue holding out uh, valuations wise uh, as well. Uh, so it, though it has not run up, uh, first thing. And second thing, the valuations also look uh, uh, decent at these levels of market. So I think you should hold it on. There was a small correction uh, last two, three days because uh, some prices had uh, come down. But overall, uh, I think this space is uh, good. You should hold it on. Both these stocks, in fact, steel as well. Query will be a combo query because we have a viewer of Ashish who's written to us from Mumbai. And this is the third time he's writing. And he only writes when you, uh, Kush and Vivek, are together on the show. He's saying he loves the camaraderie between both of you. So now he wants a combo view on uh, one is restaurants brand Asia. The other one is Timkin. Uh, duration is 12 to 18 months. He wants to know a, a good entry level for both of these counters and a fundamental view on both of the counters. So, uh, Kush, let me take first to you. Let me give Vivek a break, actually, because the last four queries, I think only he's been answering. So, Kush, uh, RBA, that is Restaurants Brand Asia, as well as Timkin, what sort of a good, uh, what sort of a level it would be a good level for him to enter? And should he actually enter these counters? Well, uh, first up, you know, many thanks to the viewer for the compliments. Uh, and I think, you know, part of the credit goes to you as well, uh, you and Sishti as well, you know, to keep things light. Uh, Vivek and I will obviously take that credit. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he plays this one out if Vivek and I give divergent views, right? So as far as RBA goes, the stock was on our radar for a long time. The stock actually did well. Now it's consolidating. Since it's query specifically about, you know, what levels to enter at, I think about 100. Uh, it's not too far from here, only about 4 percentage points. So 100 is a good base for this one by around that level. And the reason I'm saying 100 is because if it drops below 95 is when you should exit. So you'll have some margin of safety there. So buy close to 100 and 95 should be your stop loss on the upside 11, uh, you know, 111. And once that is taken out, 120 will be your target. Now, as far as Timken is concerned, you know, this stock's been uh, practically on a tearaway rally. Uh, seeing a bit of a profit booking and that's a healthy sign uh, if you ask me. A good level for Timken would actually come at 40 to 75 uh, kind of zones. So that's a good entry point. Again, there, uh, you know, you will have a margin of safety of about, you know, two, uh, 200 to 275 points. 4,000 will act as your stop loss. On the upside, the stock can test, you know, 4,800, which is the new high. Perhaps even cross that. So more bullish on Timken compared to RBA. Uh, but, you know, these are the levels for both of them. About you, uh, Vivek, what's your take coming in on both of these counters? Do you think it's worth a, a bet to take right now if it's a fresh entry into RBI as well as Timken? See, first, uh, Timken, uh, basically, again, uh, it's a Tata Group company. And as I was in the beginning saying that all the conglomerates are trying to make their groups as strong as possible. Uh, the sector as well is uh, quite good. Uh, they are into ball bearings. But if you look at the valuations after the recent uh, run-up, uh, Timken looks a bit uh, stretched, but uh, the close competitor SKF looks uh, uh, better placed and uh, less uh, costly valuation wise than Timken and both are equally uh, fundamentally good uh, companies. So if you really uh, want to safeguard some kind of profit, you can in fact uh, shift from Timken to SKF as well. And uh, yeah, this is for short term, next uh, say six months, one year view. But if you're looking for longer term, I think uh, ball bearings uh, space is going to continue doing well, so you can hold it on. Uh, secondly, coming to uh, restaurants brand Asia, see among the uh, QSR space, I think this is the only company which uh, 
uh, either is showing profit or uh, will start showing good uh, profits. I'm not talking about Zomato. Zomato is different uh, kind of uh, company. But uh, pure uh, QSR space, this company alone looks uh, good. So I would uh, again uh, agree with uh, Push that if you get 100 levels, it would be a uh, decent entry point. But will the run up be very, very fast? Uh, that's uh, doubtful. If they really start showing good profits, then yes. But again, uh, it's in consolidation phase. So 100 should be a good level. Right. Uh, moving on to the next query then. And Vivek, once again, coming to you, this query is from Neha from Bank. Um, I beg your pardon. Kush, let me come to you because Neha actually wants a technical view on two of the counters. Both counters are from the cash segment. One of them is DCX India. Uh, Neha yeah, is already having more than 20% profits in this one, so good time to move out. And the other counter, Kush, is BBTC, uh, where she is also, also sitting at a profit here. So at this point, your view on DCX India as well as BBTC, are they a hold or sell? So both of them are a partial sell. The reasons are slightly different though. Uh, DCX, uh, you know, if you see, has actually had a good run up, but you know, the resistance uh, for DCX comes close to this, uh, you know, 370, 380 mark, uh, even on a weekly basis, if you see the high that it touched, you know, this time around also was at 388, 390. So close to the resistance, the stock might see some uh, consolidation here. We've already seen, you know, a drop from that 380 level. So book partially hold the rest with a stop loss at, uh, you know, close to about 345, 350 kind of zones. Once 380 is taken out meaningfully, then the stock could, you know, make a dash towards 410 as well. So partly book hold the rest. Uh, BBTC also, we've had a stellar run. We know that, you know, the all these group of stocks were actually on a run. Uh, but, you know, some profit taking is, you know, part of the course here. So here too, my suggestion would be take some money off the table. The rest of it can be held with a stop loss of 1830. So both these stocks, as I said, are, you know, a partial sell and hold the rest with trailing stop losses. Uh, looks like uh, this Jodi is uh, really favored by a lot of our uh, viewers then because we have another one coming in from Sagar. He's saying that I can see a brewing bromance between uh, Vivek and uh, Kush. So now I want a combo view from both of them on Piccadilly Agro actually and we've not taken a query on this one for a while. No doubt a lot of them have actually uh, written to us also on the stock. It's a BSE listed counter so he's accumulated for six months and it's all been almost four years that he's holding uh, it from the level of about uh, 9 rupees or so, or 9, let me make, round it off, let, let, let me make it 10 rupees or so. So he's saying it's one of his biggest uh, multi-bagger in the Indian stock market. He's been tracking the stock for the, uh, from the year 2019. And uh, he wants to know that uh, in the last three years, uh, the stock has seen a spectacular move. But is this move likely to continue going ahead, uh, Kush? Uh, what's your take coming in on Piccadilly Agro? And then I will come to Vivek on to understand if the fundamentals also warrant uh, such a sharp move. No doubt uh, that it's uh, uh, brand. One of the brand is one of the most recognized or best brand in uh, in the world right now. So, Kush, what's your take coming in on Piccadilly Agro? Well, uh, in, first, uh, let me also thank him for, uh, you know, the compliments on the chemistry. And I think I speak on behalf of Vivek as well. When I ask the question, uh, where is the party and, you know, where should we come around? So uh, that's a question for him, obviously, on a lighter note. Uh, but many, many congratulations. This is a stellar uh, investment. What I'm extremely happy about is the fact that he's held on for such, you know, stellar gains. You don't see that uh, with a lot of investors. So, you know, continue to do well. I was actually going to give a suggestion that, you know, you might want to exit because there are a negative divergences, this, that, but when I, when I heard the price of, a buying price of 10 rupees, don't, don't do anything. Just continue to hold on. Near term, the stock might perhaps dip a little close to 700, 680 kind of levels, but at a buying price of 10 rupees, what do you have to worry? Uh, most of the uh, trajectory or rather the best part of the trajectory of the stock is still north. So any kind of dip, don't really uh, bother much. Still, if you want to have a positional stop loss close to 650, because if that breaks, then you know perhaps a near term or a medium term downturn could come around. But otherwise, my suggestion the stock on a good footing, you can continue to hold. Yeah, continue to hold, given the fact that the buy uh, price is pretty attractive. Uh, Vivek, uh, uh, 10 rupees per share, and he's held on to it. I have a feeling that he's uh, bought it and he forgot about this one, and now it's become a multi bagger. But I would want to give also credit to him. Maybe he did try and study the fundamentals of the company, and therefore. He's been able to make uh, such a return. Do you concur with that view? Do you think my analysis is correct? 
Uh, see, uh, this is my quota. I'm not Warren Buffett, so not that popular. But uh, I keep telling my investors that if you don't, if you are not patient in the market, you will soon become patient. And uh, this person has really showed uh, shown a very very good uh, patience, and that's the reason he's kind of making this kind of returns. Now, possibly, yes. See, what happens is uh, 10 has become say 700 uh, or something, but can 700 or become again uh, 70x? Uh, doubtful. So what I would suggest is, uh, yeah, majority of the uh, run-up has already happened. So if you really want, you can book some profits and uh, diversify into other uh, uh, stocks, maybe in similar sector. So if you look at uh, this space, the stock looks very, very costly, but there are similar kind of companies, say India Glycols. This is just an example. I'm not holding it personally as a disclosure, but uh, a company again into uh, liquor and uh, uh, food products, agro products it looks very, very cheap. Market is just ignoring it. I don't know when, but someday this also will uh, move really well. So diversify a little bit, protect your profits as well. Uh, not necessarily that company again does a 70x from here. So there can be opportunity loss from here on. Yeah, if you book profits, remember you are going to pay a lot of uh, tax as well. So that alone you have to keep in mind. All right, uh, but Vivek, uh, just to tell you that your uh, in this show, your quotes can can actually become um, famous, and we also welcome such uh, encouraging quotes. But Vivek, one more query coming your way, and that is on Astral Limited, wherein Krish is already holding the stock from a price of eighteen hundred and seventy six rupees, and there's been no stopping for this particular stock. Uh, what's your long term outlook on this counter, and can he go ahead and add more of it? See, yeah. Uh... Uh, compared with the, uh, say again, peer group, you have uh, Supreme Industries in pipes, you have, uh, in fact, companies like Phenolex, uh, which is, again, a big uh, name in this uh, space. So there are companies which uh, look much more cheaper compared to this. So possibly Kush can give a trailing stop loss, uh, have a trailing stop loss on this and then uh, continue. But at the, uh, these valuations are not uh, very, very comfortable. But the space overall, the piping and the uh, PVC pipe space will continue doing well because governments focus again on Har uh, Har uh, Jal Abhyan and uh, uh, say water uh, water is going to be next uh, big thing in the uh, world. So space would do well. But when you come to stock specific, there are stocks available at cheaper valuations. So Phenolex is much cheaper. So this uh, you can have a trailing stop loss and then continue holding it. All right, on that note, we'll slip into a break on this edition of uh, Buy Now, Sell Now. We will come back and try and accommodate as many queries as possible, so viewers don't go anywhere. Welcome back. You're watching Buy Now, Sell Now on ET Now. And uh, let me take this query coming in from Satya. He wants to know how is the scope of Mar uh, Marxist Pharma versus uh, Entero Healthcare uh, for a period of uh, one to two years, is it the right time to invest in both of these counters? What's your take on this, Kush, Marksons and Entero Pharma? What, uh, between both of these, which one do you think looks good or both of them look good? Well, at least uh, Marksons, I can tell you, has been on our radar. Uh, you know, it's been making uh, some noises, at least on the volume front. Uh, sadly, it's not transpired into the uh, price action yet. And, you know, then we, we are seeing some sort of negative divergences. So I'm a little cautious on this one. Uh, for me, if uh, you know it does end up crossing 175, which I know is some distance away, then you know it becomes interesting. Uh, Intero, I don't really have uh, you know a very active track on, so I'll perhaps give that a look. Right, moving on, and uh, Vivek, uh, your view on Oriental Rail? I'm not sure whether to track this one or not, but Mayank Saraf is already holding 5,000 shares. Buy price is two, uh, 200 rupees. He wants a view for the next two years. Uh, frankly, Shristi, I'm hearing the name first time. All right, no worries. Um, uh, but uh, Kush, uh, any advice on the technical front? Oriental Rail is the stock. Uh, Oriental uh, Rail, you said, is it? Yes. Are you able to find that? Uh, no, I, perhaps the code is a little different. So if you could help me with that, we could take it up or perhaps have to give it a pass. Get back to you, uh, but uh, Cheryl, if you can take the next query. All right, uh, let me take the next query then. And this one is uh, coming in uh, from a viewer. Uh, okay, this one is coming from Ghosh Dada, and he wants an advice on uh, on uh, LNT, SBI, the couple of stocks, Poonawala, FinCorp, HDFC Bank, 
uh, HDFC Live, CG Power and Vodafone. He's saying that uh, can he invest safely in any of these shares? Oh, sorry, he doesn't have these in his portfolio. So he's already booked some of uh, good portfolios in these counters, but wants to know whether he can add some more of them in his portfolio. So in case, uh, if you want me to repeat any of these uh, uh, names, uh, Vivek? Yeah, all the names. Actually, he, does, uh, he doesn't need TV. He needs the advisor uh, having full portfolio. So I, I remember only one name uh, in the list you said, uh, SBI. And SBI, I would uh, really go with. Yeah, t tell you the other names. This Poonawala FinCorp, HDFC Bank, uh, HDFC Live, CG Power and Vodafone Idea. Uh, HDFC Bank, SBI. These two would, uh, in fact, last week also we all agreed, four of us. All right, then. Uh, uh, get, coming back to the previous query, Kush, uh, the code is Ori Rail. That The stock name is Oriental Rail Infra. If we can quickly advise him, his buy price is 200 rupees. Are you able to find that now? Uh, yeah, Srishti, in, in, incidentally, I was able to locate it by the time the query ended. Uh, you know, I think you should book profit, get out of this one. I had a stellar run. Now we are seeing consolidation with a mild negative bias, negative divergences. So uh, book profit, if not fully, then you might want to exit now and have a trailing stop loss at 255. All right, with that, we will uh, kick start with the rapid fire. Just before that, a uh, flash on the bottom of your screen that Suntory Holdings is established, Suntory India. Remember that this is a global alcohol uh, company, a uh, spirits company. Let me, I stand corrected. So that one also is uh, going to start operations in the month of July. So it looks like that particular space will get pretty much heated. But with that, let me start uh, taking uh, your queries in the uh, in. Uh, Rapid fire then, this one has come from Dr. Uday Singh, senior citizen wants two multi shares for a period of one year, Kush. Uh, one is Jyoti CNC and the other is Geo Financial Services. Both we've discussed multiple times on the show. Alright, Vivek, your view on Bank of Maharashtra, Dinesh is holding the shares from a price of 55 rupees. Is that a hold or sell? Uh, at this level, uh, it's a hold. All right, Kanchan wants to know about Amar Raja batteries. Is it the right time to go ahead and invest right now, given the fact that the stock has seen already much of the rally? Vivek, what's your take? Uh, continue holding it. No, but to buy or fresh? Buy fresh on dips, yes. All right, Vivek, your view on Ramco Cement. So, Brata Mukherjee has bought 200 shares, buy price 880 rupees, but he wants a long term view on this one. Long term, yes, uh, you should. And again, a South based company. So, can be on radar. All right, this is coming from Dr. Vinod Panikar, who is a senior citizen, wants to know about uh, National Fertilizers, 50 shares bought at around 124.9 rupees per share. He wants to know what should he do, continue to hold or book profit because the stock has been falling off late. Kush, what's your take? Well, I think it's a near term uh, dip, continue to hold. I think a stop loss on this one comes at 123. All right, Kush, your view on PVR Inox. Aditya wants to know is this a good buy at current levels with the three to six months investment horizon and the likely target price as well? Uh, not a big fan, so I would uh, you know avoid PVR Inox for now. All right, this one is coming from Geeta, writing to us from Dubai. Jamna Auto, 3000 shares at a, uh, with the 7% profit right now. Continue to hold on to this, Vivek, or should she be good, uh, look to book profits? You can continue holding it on. All right, Vivek, Yuvraj wants to know um, between TD Power as well as GMI Airports, any stock that you like at this point for a fresh entry? Uh, both avoid. All right, with that, we come to the end of uh, the rapid fire, the query segment as well. Thank you so much, Kush and Vivek, as always, uh, for uh, being part of the show, resolving queries, as well as talking about the cement pack. And with that, we are totally out of time on this edition of Buy Now, Sell Now. So it's a goodbye from Shishti, myself and the team that put the show together. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.